I've been in a weight room with Kosei in a way. I've watched Kosei lift. He's watched me lift. Kosei in a way is a strong dude. Not anywhere in the same category as Tamino, and not as strong as me on any lifts, but strong dude. Speaking of lifts, that's that's. I mean, you you know this more than any of uh, any of us. So, um, this is something I've tried to tackle many times on my channel because you know, as grapplers, we're not bodybuilders. Um, we we want to stay with, especially joint wise. We want to keep them as fresh as possible, mobile as possible. Like you see these Ro Ronnie Coleman, uh, Dave Palumbo, all these guys. Like they lift biblical weights for years and years and years. They have like the best shoulders, but then after they retire, boom, shoulder replacement surgery. So I've tackled the how to lift, or I've compared like the old Taiso of the Japanese, you know, before the protein powders, before the weights room. Like they would carry each other, they would run. Like you still see the Japanese do exercises with each other that will clearly build you up. Um, that's not that's not that's not how they lift though. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm talking, I'm talking about like for example, a recreational judoka who competes, you know, locally just to have fun. If he's doing those Japanese exercises, which a lot of okay. schools do, like you're gonna be really fine with good randori. You're gonna have good cardio. You're gonna be like really strong and really fit. But if you want to go at the highest level, you need to go to the waste room. There's just no way about it. So. As a doctor in physical education, um, what's the best way for a grappler to approach the weights room? Like sets, reps, philosophy, concept. Like, what should he look for in the weights room? Like, I've tackled this, and the comment section is always like a complete mess. Like, oh, you need to be a power lifter. Oh, you need to do calisthenics for your no, joints. Oh, you need. It, it, it's, what's it, the best way to enter the gym? The best way to enter in, in, the gym is based upon your goal set. I want to be the best judoka. Let's just say that. Okay, so you want to be the best judoka where? In the what? In the world. You want to be the best? Or I want to win nationals. Like France, US, like it's a big, 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 it's a yeah, big you, platform. France, French nationals. You want to win French nationals. You want to win French nationals? Basically, you're saying you want to win Paris. <laughs> right, you want to win the Paris Open. The French, right, that's what it is. That, I mean, because if you're the best in Paris, it's possible you got a good chance of winning the, French, the Paris Open. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. It's tough in Paris. You have a lot of world champs, top seven in the world. So basically you're saying you want to be one of the best judo players in the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. If you want to be one of I the mean, best... I mean, hypothetically, obviously. You want to be best, one of the best judo players in the world. If This is how it goes, all right? We ask ourselves... First, you need to understand what's called the chronological landscape. How much time do I have? So, if how old are you right now? I don't know. I I, I started judo at twenty seven. I'm thirty one now. So just don't never mind. No, no. But I just do it. Like let's just say I'm I'm seventeen and okay, I'm just got, I just got my black belt. At seventeen, you want to be. So we'll look at seventeen. We'll say okay, seventeen. You want to be one of the best in the world. So at seventeen, we got to ask ourselves, what year is it? So seventeen is twenty twenty two. So, are we getting ready for the world championships or are we getting ready for the Olympics? You'll say, I, I, I want to win the Olympics. I say, great. So, here's what we do. We have, in 2022, is it enough time for us to make the Olympics in 2024? The answer is what? No. In 2028, is it enough time for you to make the Olympics? Possibly. So, now we start running the timeline. We have six years. So in those six years, now this is this is how you really do it, ladies and gentlemen. In those six years that I ask you, from 17 to 23, what are you going to be doing? You say, I'm going to what? Train. University. Oh. Right, you tell me you're going to university. I said, well, well you, you can't go to university and, 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 and be one of the best in the world for where you're at right now, unless you're going to go to school online. You want to go to school online? He said, yeah, I want to go to school online. I said, great. Go to school online and we map it out. I said, well, I'm going to need you a block of time in the morning and a block of time in the evening. In the morning, I'm going to need a block of like five to eight. In the evening, I'm going to need a block of five to eight. And somebody's going to say, well, you, you don't need three hours. Yeah, you do need three hours. You need time to wake up, to brush your teeth, to 
to urinate, to defecate, to get dressed, to get to the gym, to finish the gym, to come home, to take the protein shake or eat, to settle down, to shower, and then get ready for class. And then you have a nap in the middle of the day. Then you have to come in the evening. You have to go to practice. You got to drive to practice, get to practice, leave practice, go home. Five to eight, five to eight. I see. Then after that, I got. I ask you. Uh, um. So do you have a girlfriend? Modern day, you have a boyfriend. Whatever you have. Do you have? Do you have somebody you're dating? And the person says, Yeah, I got somebody I'm dating. And you say, Well, you're gonna have to either remove them from the program, or you're gonna have to give up some of your training time. Because those are the facts. Because if you're hanging out with somebody, you're not resting, you're not sleeping, you're not lifting, you're not watching video, right? So how much of your training time do you want to give up? And what you'll say is, I'm willing to give up one day a week. So that means your Saturday or your Sunday, you want to hang out with your significant other. This is this is how the training block is actually made up. So when the people and what I'm going to I'm going to tell people we're going to get sets of reps and all we're going to get all that first. first this is all the stuff we put in first. Boom. And then I say, um, OK, so Monday through Friday. All right. We're five to eight, five to eight, all the way through. You have class. You have a nap in the middle of the day from 12 to one. And you're spending time with your your significant other on on what Saturday or Sunday. What day you want to pick? Saturday. Saturday. So good. On Saturday, you spend in time. When are you going to spend time on Saturday? Afternoon, evening. Afternoon, evening. So what? Five to eight. Five to eleven. <laughs> five to eleven. Yeah. Okay. Five. Five to eleven. Because he's seventeen. So five to eleven. So good. <laughs> that, 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 that's your time. Five to eleven. So let me ask you a question. Do you go to church? Uh, Mosque. Do you go anywhere? You. Like on Sunday morning, well, it depends. Like I don't know, maybe there. We got a training you know. schedule, so it's no depend. Either, you, either, either, either uh, we have we have spiritual, we have spiritual edification in the program, or we don't. Mm. What do you believe, sir? Because you didn't you didn't waffle when it came to the training times, right? So, are you at the mosque? Are you at the synagogue? Are you at church on Sunday? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What time? Uh, eight till 10. Good. So now the training block is already set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday block, Sunday block, evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday block is set up. Then we need a rest day. So what day we're going to rest Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what day, what day we're going to block out? No lifting, no training. What day? I'd say Sunday. Sunday. You're, I mean, you had your right? date, you had your training, and then you know you you come back fresh on Monday. Yes, you already got Sunday off. Why? Because Sunday's a rest day, automatic. Oh, okay. So what, Do I have, I have to pick another day? one? Yes. Uh, Friday, but no, Friday. Friday is like the heaviest. Like you, we do leg day. Like randories are tough. I'm gonna Wednesday. say. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday in the middle Correct. of the week. You need so it. now we know, we know Monday, Tuesday, killer rest. Tuesday, Thursday, killer. Saturday, technical morning, right? Time with girlfriend. Sunday, spiritual rest. Monday, boom. So now, now we know what the workout looks like. So now we are now six years out. So six years out, we need to do an assessment. What are we looking to develop six years out? Do we do circuit training six years out? No. Six years out, we develop strength, what we call hypertrophy, or what they call GPP. Hypertrophy and GPP are damn near the same. General, um, general physical preparation. Hypertrophy, same thing, it's just a lot of reps. This is where we focus on the major lifts like the bench, the, the deadlift, and the squat. And then the supplemental stuff around it, hamstring curls, leg extensions, biceps, triceps, shoulder press. Nothing crazy, no uchikomi bands. We're just getting strong as shit for one, two years strong. Mm. Sets and reps. Now, the next two years, we start working power. Because now we have the soft tissue, has our, the soft tissue, the, the, the tendons and the ligaments and everything, they've, they've all... What do you mean by power? I'm going to tell you. The, the soft tissue has all become acclimated to the training. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Now, after we work the strength, now we start working the power. Power equals force times velocity. Now we're starting to move weight fast. So now we're starting to clean, snatch, snatch pulls, squat jumps, split squat jumps, um, dumbbell cleans. Now we're working power, explosive power, um, explosive uh, push-ups, um, rotational power, a lot of med balls. We're working a lot of power. So everything now, we're going from strength to power. We're getting powerful. Everything explosive. is explosive. Explosive threes and fives and velocity. Exactly. And we're sprinting. And then those the next the two years after that, we're working what's called power conversion, which we call metabolic training. Now this is where we start doing the circuits. This is where we start circuit training. You start circuit training. At first, you start time and attention. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 12 exercises. Then you go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, same 12 exercises. Then 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And then after a while, it's just 30 seconds and keep moving to the exercise. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And then you move from that to reps. Pick your exercises and you do the reps. You do the reps. And then you keep trying to reduce your time so you get more work done in a smaller period of time. That lets you know you're getting more, you're getting powerful. And then I start adding more reps to try to, to try to get myself to put as much work as possible within a four minute time frame and work my circuits. That's my power conversion. That is what we call metabolic training. That's when you got the band and the Uchi Kumi, or a quick snack, bop, 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 hurdle jumps, Uchi Komis, rotation, throws, jumping over the hurdles, about, over and over and over again because now i want i want to i want to start assimilating the training to the met the, the type of metabolic load that i'm handling inside the environment of playing in judo so all those things are correct sets and reps are correct heavy weight and 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 uh small reps so working on power all, that's correct the metabolic training is correct but the timing at which you do it is the most important and now your judo training, this is the problem, has to correlate with the strength and conditioning. Mm. Meaning those first two years when I'm in the dojo, lots of throws, lots of nagakomi, lots of, not a lot of randori, lots of, just lots of throws, lots of combos, lots of, lots, and a whole lot of newaza. Because my body's sore because the volume is so high in the weight room. And I need I need to push. I need to push the newaza, push the newaza, push the newaza, push the newaza. Why do I need to push the newaza early? Because I don't have time to, to focus on newaza as I get closer to the Olympics or closer to the worlds. Mm. As I get closer to the worlds, I need to be focusing on tactics and strategies and 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 throws. Grip fighting. And grip fighting, putting people down. One question. Yes. So the first cycle, which is you know getting really strong. Uh, are we talking six to twelve reps? This is what people don't realize. People don't. <laughs> that stuff that you read in the magazines ain't the real deal, man. Some of these, some of these sets. You ever done? A, you ever done a century set? Like I'm talking like Mike Menzer type sets, like where you go to the last rep, you're like, <laughs> right, that's it. exactly. I'm talking about sets of a hundred. Have you, done, you ever done a hundred? No. Yes. So we. I was doing this with my son. You're on the leg press using just one leg at a time. First set, just 45 on each side. First set, 100 reps, one leg. Boom, boom, boom. Then after, then you're warm now. Then three plates on each side. Boom, go. One leg. Till you can't, till you can't go anymore. And then drop set. Boom, drop set. Boom, drop set to nothing. Boom. And then the other leg. Boom, boom. Now we're on the hamstring curl. Leg is to. It is, it is an insane amount of work because we're just trying to get the body ready to do more work. Mm. You, 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 what you're doing, you're creating the base of the building. The wider the base, the higher I can go. If the base is narrow, I can't go high. So I got to get a wide base that I can go high 